Right, we're fitting these uh, new style rear lights. These are the uh, ones where the indicator runs or you can have a little switch which will just make it flash. Um, they're pretty plug and play. Lots of people have asked about this. Um, so basically, black and yellow little relay box plugs into the black and yellow wires then straight into the car's loom plug in this is the left hand side obviously then the blue wire says on there um, I think it says brake light brake light this is going to become your fog light and you will have dual fog lights okay and the green wire will become obsolete unless you want to run it into your um, ordinary lights and have it as a running light but to be quite honest I don't ever bother with the green wire so we leave that so if we go across to the other side on the driver side or right hand side um, the loom that goes into the indicator unit as I say just plug and play you've got your green and blue wire and the yellow and black same on this side as the other side so just plug in the little box into the yellow and black the blue wire is going to become your fog light what you need to do the loom that goes into this unit so let me just plug that in you need to find it's like an orangey red striped wire so you've got an orange and a red or a pink depends how you look at it you need to chase into that then you need to make up a little joining wire so you plug into this one into your red and orange the blue will go to the blue run a wire across to the blue wire on the other side and that will become your fog light so let me wire all that in and then we'll show you it in the car. So this is your blue fog light wire, which is connected to the orange and red or orange and pink. This is your link wire to run all the way across the car to the other blue wire on the other side, which now gives you dual rear fog lights. So I'd like to do a little test just before we put it all back into the bumper. So first things first, your indicator. So we go right hand or left hand indicator. So left hand indicator, right hand indicator, hazards. And then we put the reverse lights on. And then last but least, the fog light. So the reason we use the brake light side of it is because it is bright whereas the running light would be a lot dimmer um, fog light needs to be bright so this is why I don't bother to run running lights or anything with it so as you can see they all work nicely so now we reassemble it put it all back into the bumper put a bumper on the car and then uh, as we say Bob's your uncle <laughs>